Gothic fashion originally emerged from the post-punk scene in the United Kingdom in the early 1980s. And it shows no signs of dying out anytime soon. Thousands of people around the globe indulge in this unique sense of style. To the point that it has become associated with a few signature traits. If you want to get into the goth scene, you should first learn the basics of this popular style. So, we are going to watch about the how to dress goth. The ultimate guide. Method 1. Choosing the right clothing. First is buy lots of black staple pieces of clothing. This color has long been considered a staple of gothic fashion. Work it into your new wardrobe as the main color of your outfit. Invest in plenty of plain socks, pants, tops, and skirts during your first shopping trip. You can't start building outfits you like if you don't own the essential pieces of clothing. T-shirts are a great piece of clothing to start building your wardrobe with. They are easy to find, inexpensive, and come in many styles. For a more feminine style, buy an oversized t-shirt and pair it with high socks or fishnet stockings, boots, and jewelry. It's perfectly acceptable to not want to wear all black all the time. Add a bit of variety to your outfits by mixing in other colors, such as red, gray, white, violet, blue, or pink. Pick out black clothes in velvet, lace, leather, silk, PVC and or cheesecloth for a classic goth look. Goth fashion is based on creativity and DIY. So try looking for clothes at second-hand shops, flea markets, indie shops, and car boot sales. Step 2 Stock up on distressed clothing. Distressed, or ripped, tops and bottoms are one of the most commonly worn styles across almost every gothic subculture. Look for denim jeans or shorts with tears on the legs or tops with tearing along the body or frayed edges. Consider wearing distressed denim jeans with a black t-shirt, combat boots, and studded bracelets. Wear fishnets underneath your distressed bottoms for an extra goatee look. Step 3 Play around with graphic prints. Occult patterns are a staple for gothic fashion. Keep an eye out for any patterned, graphic clothing featuring pentagrams and pentacles, moons, stars, skulls, or crosses. You can wear a moon face printed casual dress with long black socks and black creepers. Accessorize with moon and star shaped jewelry and black lipstick. Step 4 If you wish to identify with a scene known as, new goth, look for plaid items. Plaid is one of the most popular types of patterns in this emergent subset of the goth scene. And can be found as outerwear, tops, bottoms, and much more. Red, blue, purple, green, grey, and black plaid are all great to incorporate into your wardrobe. Pair a black top with a plaid skirt or pants. Alternatively, you can lay a plaid flannel over your favorite top or dress with high socks and boots. Step 5 Buy collared shirts in black or other dark colors. Collared shirts are a great unisex option, and can be found in a wide array of styles. You can find them in solids patterns, or even in color block designs. Though you should be careful with color blocking. Stick to dark colors or shades of black with subtle accents in neutrals or white. Wear a collared shirt with dark denim or a black skirt of any length. Step 6 Wear corsets. Corsets are a staple of the feminine side of gothic fashion. They are also flexible enough to be worn in either a formal or casual outfit and can be found in a wide range of sizes and styles. Wear a corset over a simple dress, or with a top and skirt or jeans. Corsets will also look great layered over a formal dress or a lacy blouse and ruffled skirt. Corsets are popular in the, romantic goth, style. Romantic goth also includes long skirts, laced boots, elbow gloves, ruffled new romantic shirts, gothic, beaded collars and soft makeup in colors like red and purple, Lydia Fortner, Diva Destruction, Two Witches, Suspiria, and Requiem in White are a few artists who dress in the romantic goth style. Finally, buy black leather clothing in any fit you like. Leather is another popular choice of materials in the gothic scene, and is quite versatile. It can be worn in the form of jackets, pants, shorts, or skirts. You can even find it in distressed and non-distressed styles. Pair a leather jacket with a t-shirt and jeans, or over a dress. 
Complete the ensemble with combat boots. You could also wear leather pants with a cotton t-shirt and creepers. Method 2. Picking out accessories. First is wear hats in dark colors. Hats are a common element in goth wardrobes, perfect for bad hair days and or cold weather. There are all sorts of styles you can choose from. Beanies are a popular choice for basic gothic styles. They are easy to wear and customize. If you like, you can sew on skull or hexagram patches. Or stick on button pins from your favorite bands. Bowlers are another great choice if you're into a retro look. Wear them with a button-up shirt and pants or a cute dress. Wide-brimmed hats will give you a witchy look that fits perfectly into gothic aesthetics. This type of hat pairs best with your favorite dress, a top and skirt, or a shirt and jeans. Step 2 Acquire Pentagram-Shaped Jewelry Pentagram symbols can be found in most goth styles. You can most easily fit them into your wardrobe as a necklace, earrings, or even as a bracelet charm. Pentagram jewelry looks great with many outfits. Combine a choker with a pentagram-shaped pendant with a black dress, tights, and creepers. Goth fashion takes inspiration from cultures and iconography like ancient Celtic, Pagan, Egyptian, Asian, and Christian. Anks, rosaries, bangles, colored fishnets, chunky jewelry featuring bats, coffins, skulls, and or bones, and fishnets are other accessories you could try. Step 3 by Chokers Choker necklaces have recently gone up in popularity and are very common in goth wardrobes. They look especially great with t-shirts and low-cut tops. You can buy plain black chokers, studded chokers, or chokers with pendants attached. Look for crosses, skulls, crystal pendants, or stars. Step 4 Wear wristbands Wristbands go perfectly with casual outfits, and can be worn with long-sleeved, short-sleeved, or sleeveless tops. Pick cotton wristbands with hexagrams, pentagrams, logos from your favorite bands, or leather wristbands decorated with studs or spikes. Step 5 Cut up a pair of black tights or socks. Many gothic outfits feature socks or tights. You can buy a pair of plain black tights, solid or transparent, and add stylish tears across the legs with a pair of scissors. Alternatively, you can buy a pair of patent tights or socks. Skeleton bones, occult patterns, and lace are popular choices. Step 6 Add fishnets to your wardrobe. Fishnets are another long-standing component of goth fashion. If you don't want to wear fishnets on your legs, you can opt for a fishnet shirt to wear over an undershirt. Or even fishnet gloves. Fishnets have become very popular to wear with ripped jeans. Combine the fishnets and ripped jeans look with a crop top and a choker necklace. You can wear normal tights or stockings if you wanted to. Sheer stockings or tights would be best to add a hint of class to your outfit or to show your legs. Off. Finally, buy a pair of boots and or creepers. Both boots and creepers, a type of low-top sneaker with flat platform soles, are essential to the gothic wardrobe. A great pair of boots will prove especially handy during the colder months of the year. Look for lace-up boots or a pair decorated with belts to match the aesthetic. You could wear black motorcycle boots as they are popular part of gothic fashion. Also, they have zippers on them which are handy if they need to be removed in any situations. Doc Martens are also a good shoe option. Goth winkle pickers are another great shoe to consider. Usually made in black, they can come with a heel, multiple buckles, and length. Method 3. Modifying your appearance. First is get a new haircut or style. You can choose from all sorts of hairstyles to wear in the gothic scene. For a feminine look, get your hair cut into a bob of shoulder or chin length. You could also sport a cute pair of double buns or braids. Great masculine hairstyles include undercuts and mohawks. Goth hair is often cut in layers, back combed, and dyed a funky color. It can also be shaved, crimped, or left long like Patricia Morrison. It's usually unruly, like Robert Smith's or Susie Sue's, and fluffy with hairspray to hold it up. Death hawks are also an option. Johnny Slut, Specimen's keyboardist, made this look popular. Step 2 Dye Your Hair Neon 
यू आर ऑलरेडी वेयरिंग ब्लैक क्लोदिंग सो ब्लैक हेयर कुड मेक यू लुक मनोटनस नियोन कलर्ड हेयर इज कॉमन इन गॉथ फैशन अस्पेशली इन शेड्स ऑफ व्हाइट ग्रे ग्रीन पर्पल पिंक ब्लू एंड रेड नेचुरल हेयर कलर्स वर्क जस्ट एज वेल इन गॉथ फैशन कंसिडर गोइंग विथ डार्क ब्राउन अ सॉफ्ट शेड ऑफ लाइट ब्राउन और प्लैटिनम ब्लॉन्ड स्टेप थ्री पीस योर सेप्टम A septum piercing goes through the center of your nostrils. You can recognize it as a hoop going through both nostrils, sort of like a bull. Septum piercings have become popular in the goth scene and can be adorned with a wide variety of jewelry. Hoops with swirled or star-shaped ornaments are most common. If you aren't comfortable getting a real septum piercing, you can wear a false piercing instead. Look for jewelry with crosses, skulls, chains, and puffins on them step 4 get tattooed if you are 18 or older tattoos have always been part of the goth style so now is the perfect chance to get one if you aren't tattooed already any location and style is fine birds roses pentagrams skulls and other macabre images are the most popular styles be sure to wear clothing that puts your tattoos on display such as short sleeved tops or black denim leather shorts band logos are another possible option for a goth tattoo make sure you really want a tattoo before you get one step 5 apply dark makeup you can go as heavy or light as you want with your makeup though heavier styles look better with some outfits than others blue violet red and black shades of lipstick and eye shadow all fit into the gothic style goth makeup is very elaborate dramatic and in some cases extreme you could try brightly colored block eye shadow in silver blue or purple along with minimal eyeliner or go for an egyptian inspired kabuki look with triangular eyebrows black or purple contour is a popular option along with black or red lipstick if your outfit is going to be more formal or ornate like a dark evening gown or something in the gothic lolita style with lots of ruffles and frills try bolder eye makeup think smoky eye shadow with swirl designs at the outer corners of your eyes or violet blue and black blended together in an ombre pattern lighter makeup styles work best with casual outfits if your look for the day is a casual dress or t-shirt and jeans match your makeup to the look with some simple winged eyeliner with or without a dark eye shadow and lipstick Finally, get a stiletto manicure. Stiletto nails are a type of manicure that features long nails filed into claw shapes. They are a popular choice for a feminine goth style, especially when painted black. If you like, you can add decals shaped like pentagrams, stars, or skulls. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.